I was actually out on the night in the town with a couple of friends and someone who had identified me as a sex worker who had seen me online they approached me at a bar and tried to shame me. They had said something along the lines of it must be so embarrassing knowing everyone in here has seen you naked and my instant reply is that it's not my fault that your boyfriend buys my news. And they were really taken aback by that. And that's kind of when a light bulb went off in my head. Like if I could just wear a shirt that said that, like it kind of take back my identity and take back the public space so that what I'm wearing kind of armed me and felt like armor. I am the CEO of Networthy Clothing, a clothing line that helps further the conversation and destigmatize sex work. I was a webcam model. The misconception about sex work, we're less than, we're not worthy, which is really what the clothing line is kind of meant to reverse. So once I had the idea for Networthy, I really jumped in to everything in terms of research. In terms of the equipment and materials I needed to get started, the big one was capital. To get this started, it was probably between 10 and 15 grand. What I did was go really hard on OnlyFans, make a bunch of money, and then reinvest into the business. Step one would be working out a design concept. Step two would be uploading it into a print-on-demand kind of website. The third step would be actually printing that design from your print-on-demand site so that you have a sample shipped to your door and you can actually feel and touch the product. And then once that step is approved and you're excited about what you've created, now it's time to scale. So you put it up on your store, you make it available, and then you let the marketing do the heavy lifting. You can also post it on like Instagram stories with polls to see if this design is gonna land or not. So some of the designs that now Worthy that have been wildly successful is the original Your Boyfriend Buys My News. And then the other really big one is the Donate to My Organization shirt, which I also love. And then the third one that I'd love to highlight is the Being a Lady, I'm Gonna Be a Legend. Some of the mistakes I've made so far involve like doing too much too fast. I dived in head first and I wanted to launch the store with 15 designs, it's so unnecessary. A lot of them are still sitting here because they weren't the best sellers. I wish that I had invested less up front, maybe started smaller, just doing print on demand initially and then growing from there. So our store is completely online based. My target market is really sex workers themselves and I want them to wear them in public spaces so that we can further these conversations and kind of drive awareness and reduce stigma. We have a social media presence, but we also do things like email marketing. We also do a lot of influencer marketing. Some of the feedback that I get from customers is just the feeling of empowerment. So currently 5% of proceeds of every sale through Networthy goes to Pineapple Support, which gives free or low cost therapy to sex workers or performers in the adult space. I have a few other businesses. One of them is sexworkceo.com. It is an online educational platform to teach sex workers skill gaps so that they can take their brand in and expand it and turn it into a bigger company um, than it might currently be. So we teach things like, you know, how to build a door to sell fans merch the way I built this clothing line. If I had to give three pieces of business advice to an entrepreneur or aspiring creative, I would say, do the thing that you don't feel like doing, especially when you don't feel like doing it. Some of the best things that I've done have come out of moments where I was exhausted. The second would be to be consistent. And I guess the third thing I would say is really have a self-awareness about who you are, what your values are, and what you wanna represent in terms of a company.